people who are my name is Sissy and welcome to another episode of how to Cantonese if you have been through like a lot of Cantonese learning materials by this time you will be able to make short sentences at least and for those who are just beginning their long way to learn a new language don't give up and subscribe anyway so if you can make short sentences why not trying to make longer sentences how to do that by sticking at least two of them together but you, you can't just do it like this is an apple and this is a pen that kind of magic maybe i should probably stop making this kind of joke is so 2016. And anyway, point being, you need something to connect two clauses together. Um, think of it as a kind of cohesive. And today we're going to talk about conjunctions related to cause and effect. Not all of them, but some of them. And in order to paint a clearer picture for you guys let's just make up two simple clauses what should the first clause be? what about Timmy is very rich Timmy is and the second one Sally likes Timmy Sally Jongi Timmy the first conjunction is about reasons yeah I'm quite sure you've heard of it it is one of the most commonly used words in Cantonese and it is Yan Wai Well, Yan Wai basically means because so it is used like how because is used in English you just jam it right before the reason parts Yan Wai has a little brother which in Cantonese is So Yi um, it is about results or effect. You can just think of it as so. And these brothers, they can be used together in the same sentence or they can be used like independently. So for example, Yan Wei Timmy Hou Yao Qin, So Yi Sally Zhong Yi Timmy. Because Timmy is very rich, so Sally likes him. Or it can be Sally Jong Yi Timmy Yan Wei Timmy Ho Yao Qin Sally likes Timmy because Timmy is rich. You can you can just omit the Yan Wei in the very first example and just use So Yi instead. So it becomes Timmy Ho Yao Qin So Yi Sally Jong Yi Kai. Timmy is very rich, so Sally likes him. Using this pair of little brothers, they can get you through like about 85% of situations that talk about cause and effects. Yeah, and they are used like very, very, very frequently in daily conversations because they can be either formal or informal. But if you want to know some conjunctions about this in a more intermediate level. Here are some more formal slash closer to written form-ish kind of things about cause and effect. The first one is Yao Yu. Not Yao Yu, not squish. Don't think about eating all the time, like yeah, seriously. So Yao Yu kinda close to the meaning of Due to. So you can use Yao Yu in front of the reasons that you're trying trying to talk about. Just maybe it may sound a bit weird if you are using it in like conversations or casual situations. Just like you don't really use due to to your friend, right? Do do you? Example, Yao Yu Timmy Yiging Po Tan Sally Li Hoi Joko. Due to the fact that Timmy has already gone bankrupt, Sally left him. Good job, Sally. 
another formal kind of conjunctions that talk about effect or results in Cantonese is yi Well, this one is probably more formal than yao yu because we don't really use it in our daily conversation. Yeah, most likely the situation that it tend to appear is on evening news or newspaper and the example for this will be Timmy Timmy's bankruptcy has caused Sally to leave him My camera hates me Last but not least Well, here I go again The third kind of formal conjunction is yan qi despite having the character yan which means reasons in this word yan qi is about results or effect rather than reasons so think of it as the english word therefore and use it with the result for example time tini yao bin fan hou yao qin Yan Qi Sally Yao Fan Timmy has become rich again. Therefore Sally is back as well. Apologies to all the Sally's out there, I didn't mean it. But I kinda did since the sentence is uh made by me. And I hope you can kinda grasp the idea of conjunctions about cause and effect in this video through this video. If you're still here, thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas, opinions, and stuff to say. And if you enjoyed this video, find it useful, please leave a like down below, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you want more future Cantonese stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!